Hi, welcome to Ever Mentor YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the most important uh, topic and uh, I think most of my subscribers really uh, need this uh, topic. So what exactly it is that uh, if we are applying for the assistant professor that do permanent assistant professor uh, recruitment notification in any one of the government uh, university, then they will prefer the net qualified candidates or the PhD candidates. So it is the today's topic we are going to, uh, I mean, I'm going to show you here uh, with the help of the recently selected uh, central university uh, selection uh, notice and all. Okay. So actually for the assistant professor uh, designation as per the UGC regulations, net qualified candidates can apply as well as PhD candidates also can apply for these positions. Okay. And you might be already knowing that as per the API score point of view, the PhD candidates will be uh, more uh, greater than the net qualified candidate. That means the PhD candidates already leading with respect to API points comparing with the net qualified candidates. But still, uh, most of the candidates are having one doubt that uh, net will be I mean, net candidates will be selected or PhD candidates will be selected. So rather than simply doing the analysis and I, I will do you one uh, notice okay, with respect to recently selected the central university. So as per that one we will come to one uh, conclusion whether the government universities are preferring the net qualified or the PhD candidates. So after watching this video then you will be having one uh, uh, clear cut idea whenever the permanent assistant professor recruitment notification is announced from any one of the government university. So whether to apply or not. Okay, so don't waste your uh, money if as in, in the form of application fee. So this video will give you somehow some clarity. Okay, anyhow, before going into the main content of this video, if you are preparing for the UGC Net Electronic Science June 2023 cycle, then uh, I started the, I mean myself, I am Ashwini Kumar, the XN Academy educator. I started the new course, okay, the complete course for the electronic science from March 1st onwards. Uh, I mean, if your friends belongs to electronic science, then please share this uh, information to them. And the course fee is 3500 and through the UGSnet 88 app, uh, you guys can download from the Google Play Store or else that app link also I will put in the description box of this uh, video. And still if you're having any queries, then you can uh, WhatsApp to this uh, provide contact number. Okay. And now while coming to the present content of the video, so recently uh, Sri Venkateshwara University I mean Sri Venkateshwara College, University of Delhi. Uh, from past two months, uh, it is announcing the recruitment notification of assistant professor as well as uh, departmental wise, they are releasing the results of the, I mean, uh, the candidates who are permanent, I mean, selected for the permanent assistant professor. Okay, like this. So, list of provisionally selected for the post of assistant professor and permanent base in the Department of Biochemistry. So, like that, they are, uh, I mean, from past two months onwards, they are in the process of uh, recruiting. Uh, the assistant professor on the permanent basis. So here you may check down the departmental wise chemistry and botany, economics, electronics, commerce. Okay, so like this they are uh, releasing and with respect to this uh, result notice, uh, I will show you whether they are preferring the net qualified candidates or the uh, PhD qualified, I mean PhD degree candidates. So if you go to the selected list of the department of, I mean for example, I am sh showing few departments. So all the departments I can't show you due to the lack of time. So environmental science, if you check the two candidates are selected, Dr. Pankaj Kumar and Dr. Robin Suyesh. So that means both these two candidates are doctorates only and they kept also here the Dr. Pankaj Kumar and address also they kept. Okay, so you may check down. And uh, while coming to the one more subject that is the department of Telugu. So for the department of Telugu out of the two requirements, one candidate is doctorate and another candidate is normal, I think, uh, post, no, 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 both the candidates are doctorates only. See guys, here you may check down, so both the candidates are uh, doctorates only and uh, while coming to the department of statistics, so here you may check down, these are the selected candidates and here Dr. Deepika, Dr. Nagendra Kumar, Dr. Kalpana, Yadav, that means all the candidates are doctorates only. So, to the I mean, for example, if you take any one department means uh, PG candidates, I mean, net candidates will apply as well as doc PhD candidates also will apply. So, but if you look at this selection process, they are giving preference to doctorates only. Okay. In case in any one department, if the doctorates are not attending to the interview, then only they will go to the net qualified candidates. If you go to the de department of botany, so total 14 vacancies are there and recently, see guess, 19 9 2022 interview done. 
and this notice released on 30th 12 2022 okay so 14 candidates they selected so out of the 14 candidates all the candidates are doctorates only you may check down here doctor 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 okay so all the candidates are doctorates only so yeah and coming to the department of sociology uh, they selected the three candidates and out of the three candidates one only one is post credit candidates and remaining two are the doctorates only so like that you may check down the few more departments also if you are having the patience and not only in this uh, i mean it is the university of delhi so under the university of delhi so many colleges are there in each and every college the same procedure will follow so if you look at this procedure i think you might be aware that uh, i mean 99 percent chances are there i mean for selection of the doctorates only uh, only one percentage is for the net qualified candidates so from this video i want to make you aware that if you are having the post graduation degree and plus ugc net but if you want to exist in the teaching field better finish the phd okay as early as possible in future there will be there will be no chance for the uh, ugc only ugc net candidates definitely phd might be I mean even though the ugc will not do the mandatory if you check that for assistant professor, uh, there is no mandatory for, I mean, uh, I mean, PhD is not mandatory for the assistant professor. Okay. So, PG candidates, UGC net candidates also can apply as per the UGC regulations. But if you look at the selection procedure in the universities, all the candidates, they will select only doctorates only. So, what this information is giving is that directly or indirectly, the universities are passing some information that only doctorates will be recruited, net qualified candidates will be not recruited okay so if you are uh, trying for the permanent assistant professor jobs in any government universities okay better finish the phd and then only apply otherwise don't waste your application fee like 500 rupees 1000 rupees 2000 rupees and application rather than the application fee the traveling charges and expectations okay and all these things will be time wasting process okay so it is what i want to conclude from this video so if it is helpful to you then it's fine otherwise also it's fine okay okay guys thank you very much in uh, next video we will meet with uh, some more information or else some other recruitment notifications or admission notifications so please subscribe the channel to get the continuous updates from my side after subscribing tap the bell icon also okay thank you very much guys all the best